So our fourth life-changing challenge is that of living a healthy and balanced lifestyle for 90 days. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's quickly, I want to get uh, to this slide here. I've used our acronym, what is our word to live happily? Jabula. Jabula. For this living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. So the J simply meaning joyful eating. Aspects of having a healthy diet, and I'm going to just touch on it today because there's so much to it. First of all, cut out as much as we can of the sugars we eat, or have it in moderation. One thing, when you're actually changing your lifestyle, there is no a little here and a little here. It is an all or nothing experience. Till you have made the change, you've made the switch, and you can bring in some balance. But for all of these challenges that we're going through, when you are switching, I want to say it again, there's no such thing as moderation. It is all or it is nothing. For that, it's the same thing, building a new habit. You can't build a new habit if you're not really doing it. So, and there's skills to getting sugar out of your diet or a great amount of sugar if you're a very sugary person. You know, have a little less, then have a little less. There's other things you can use instead of sugar. If you're a soda drinking person, you can switch to maybe a fizzy water that you add some of those little energy C drinks in. So there's different things that you can do to make this change in your life. And for me, oh, I have had two macaroons today. And I'm like, daughter will say, oh, everyone's going to have a sugar rush. <laughs> but I can do now and then, now, because I've formed a new habit of not doing it all the time, which is my past favorite way to do it. The other thing is cutting down the fats in your diet, the salt in your diet, in drinking sugar drinks all the time, make it a little less, half sweet, half unsweet. Just watching, are you eating fresh things in your life? Do you have salads? Do you have cooked greens that are so cooked that all the goodness has left them? And lots of potatoes and lots of sugar and butter and all those things. Lots of skills we sometimes have to unlearn and learn. So a lot of our diet that is, is vital. And to again switch, remember now when we spoke about not complaining, envisaging what you want to be. I want to, I, I, and there's a difference between I want to be healthy and making that decision today, I am. When I say, when I, uh, my first mentor coach that I had when I became a life coach, phenomenal man, he would teach us, don't say you are going to be a coach, you are. You need to, if you, the decision you make today is I am not I will, because you're going to keep willing. You're not going to get there. So very powerful what you say to your brain. Remember, it's pure chem physical stuff that goes on. It's not wishful thinking. So the second part to living a healthy lifestyle is the A for activity. Of course, exercising. If you don't exercise at all, you got to start slow. Maybe you'll only walk so many blocks, or you'll walk half a mile. And then in another week, I'll do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the next week I'll add another block. And so you increase it slowly, and at least you're exercising once a week, twice a week, three times a week. And again, we're going to build the plan for whatever you choose you need to. Exercise, not just is good for you physically, but actually mentally. There's a phenomenal connection with what happens uh, up here to achieving your dreams, to being affirmed and thankful, and not being a complainer. Exercise has real chemistry that happens and what gets released to actually facilitate those things in your life. The third thing is having balance. Balancing all aspects of your life, including having adequate rest. If you think you can get by on two or three hours sleep every single night for a prolonged time and then just have caffeine or all these crazy drinks that you drink is not living a balanced and healthy lifestyle. You need to get adequate rest and have that balance between 
And for those of us who have businesses or for you that have management positions in your work, we know how to put in the hours. We know how to do that. Do you take the balance off to that and let your soul rest and your body rest and your mind actually rest? Because don't think you're going to not be a complainer if you're not taking care of this aspect of your life. The fourth aspect is what I just call up there, how vital having fresh air and a certain amount of sunshine in your life. You have to protect in the two hot summer months, but that little bit of of vitamin D that you get naturally, get outside, have light being different, have your visual, that's why it's so great to exercise outside. It takes care of all these pieces. The next aspect is Al having laughter. Just having that power of laughter in your life. And the difference that it actually is phenomenally powerful. To laugh when there's little ones around you, you see how easy they laugh with you. To be able to laugh with them. Create laughter in your life every day. And the A, attitude. Having a positive attitude of mind, the things that we've spoken of up till now, being thankful, and I want to add the aspect of forgiveness. Yes. If you are working on your own affirmations, if you are building your dreams, and you are stepping out of being a complainer, you have to understand forgiveness. It is at the root of so much of who we are, whether it's positive or negative. And a very powerful uh, process to actually go through is, is to also write. Just sit for a minute and think of who comes to mind. Just write names down and you'll then, if you really think hard after that, you'll get to realize, hmm, I don't feel so good about that person. You start remembering incidences. I am upset with them. They annoyed me when this happens, and then you go, I've never really got over it. I haven't ever really let it go. Not letting go is not forgiving. I haven't really forgiven. If you have anger and resentment in your heart to some somebody, you need to go right back to what we spoke about before. Why? What are my needs? my core values, why is this affecting me? What is not being met? Start your affirmations. Start under affirmations help you understand who you are. And then you start figuring out why this is upset, why you haven't let this go in your life. But you can't really move on on the others if you don't have forgiveness and you've got to let it go. And here's the beautiful thing. Forgiveness doesn't mean you need to make it right. We need to all get on. I need to tell you I'm sorry and we need to love each other after that. No, 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 no. It means you just need to tell, tell somebody, you know, when this happened, I behaved this way and I'm really sorry for it. They may not need to, they may not forgive you. And they may not be okay with it, but that's not what you're there for. You're not there to fix it. You're there to say, I'm sorry, it's up to them what they do with it. You're sorry. And then you have to let it go. It's not controlling somebody else, controlling a past situation. And sometimes you can't go and fix it. Somebody may have passed away. Maybe it's someone that won't speak to you. Have a little ritual of your own. Have a little burial of your own. Yes. Go and create your own little space where you are and say, you know, I never, I've hated this all these years. And sorry. They're not there, they can't hear, but you still need to see it. And let it go. Move on. A very powerful part of living a healthy and balanced life emotionally and mentally. I have just a wonderful woman in, in again, part of a miracle story of talking about envisaging, setting an intention. I met Mary Mwasu, just a few weeks ago. And she's here to tell you a little of her story as it relates to living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. 